Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Everyone, welcome to the show. So 47-year-old Florida resident Tanya Bishop has a son who's incarcerated. And in a recorded jailhouse call on January 4th, um, this was of, on January 4th of 2021, I should say, Bishop told her son, quote, on the 6th, Trump has called the Patriots together. A bunch of us are headed over there. So Bishop did travel with um, her then boyfriend, now husband, to D.C., Brian, also with his family. They all walked to the Capitol together after watching Donald Trump's speech at the Ellipse. Some of them got separated, though. This was sometime after they reached the Capitol grounds. Um, Bishop was seen entering the Capitol through the Senate wing doors with someone who appears to be Brian Bishop's parents, based on their description. Um, alarms were blaring. The, you know, the glass on the doors were broken. They were visibly shattered. There was glass on the ground. So they knew they did not have the right to enter. But Bishop pushed further into the building and she and the others were seen inside the Capitol crypt. She traveled um, to several other areas before joining a large group in a hallway. And along with the mob, Bishop pushed past police officers. Um, they were attempting to block the, the path to the house, uh, to the house area, house chamber. And so Bishop pushed past them along with a bunch of other people. They headed to the house chamber. Bishop and her group made it to the area of the speaker's lobby, and then officers gestured for them to leave the building. So, you know, credit where credit is due. At that point, she and her companions did exit the Capitol. They did heed the officers' warnings and, you know, did as they were told. So this was about 30 minutes after they entered. So Bishop was arrested on August 10th of 2023, and she was charged with entering a restricted building or grounds, two counts of disorderly conduct, and parading or demonstrating in a Capitol building. In March of 2024, Bishop pleaded guilty to two of the four misdemeanors. So she pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct and parading in a Capitol building. So Bishop was looking at a combined one year in prison, 10 years of probation, and up to $10,000 in fines. However, the government requested only 14 days in prison, three years of probation, 60 hours of community service, and 500 in restitution. Judge Timothy Kelly presided over Bishop's case, and in the end, he sentenced Bishop to only two years of probation, 80 hours of community service, and 500 in restitution. So, as I've said over and over again, I believe anyone who entered the Capitol should have received or should receive a minimum two to three months in prison. You know, but for the large mob, officers would have been free to help their fellow officers who were being completely brutalized that day. So she played a factor in that. Everyone she was with played a factor in that. <sighs> yeah, pathetic, pathetic sentence. So anyway, uh, I will let you know if I hear any more. Unfortunately, she's going to be out free to vote because so these were misdemeanors. She's going to be free to you know do this again if she doesn't like the outcome. So thank you all so much for watching and listening. Uh, please like, even though the ending sucked. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you have not. Tell a friend about the show. Tell 10 friends about the show. And if you can donate, I really appreciate it. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.